Deadlift movements are very similar to the hip hinging movements with an added uh, component of knee joint extension. Uh, this is going to be very de dependent upon positioning because individuals will vary from, uh, from each other with, depending on their body mechanics. So we'll see things like a deadlift movement containing the PPC pipe hip hinge that we just used all the way down to a deficit sumo deadlift which will increase great range of motion even further. Starting with our trap bar deadlift. This is the trap bar deadlift. So trap bars are going to vary by design. Ours has a flush handle with the, the axle. So what we're gonna have here is it's going to simulate a regular deadlift with a more upright posture. Some trap bars are gonna have an elevated handle. So just be aware of that. That will simulate an even more elevated squat, uh, squat type deadlift. So with this, we're going to keep feet straight under the hips, toes facing forward or slightly angled out, whichever is more comfortable. Instructor to reach down and grab the handles right in the center in line with the axle so that the bar doesn't tip forward on them. We're gonna have shoulder, upper back and shoulders tightly packed, flat back. We're gonna reach our hips back and shift the weight off the floor. Coming to a nice tall erect posture with shoulders, hips and knees locked out. Coming back down, we're going to slowly eccentrically lower making sure that we do not round the low back as we descend. And that is the trap bar deadlift. We now move on to conventional deadlifts. This is the conventional barbell deadlift. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our client start with her feet straight under her hips, toes either facing forward or slightly angled out, whichever is more comfortable. We're gonna keep her shins away from the bar. So that way, as she descends to grab the bar, her shins meet the bar with a forward flexing ankle. She's gonna grab the bar a little wider than shoulder width so that it clears her knees. We're gonna keep back nice and flat, chest up high. Eyes can be either straight forward in a neutral head position or straight up in a head back position like so. And we're gonna instruct her to shift her weight backwards as she drives force into the floor. So that way when she comes to the top, she's at a full erect position, eyes are forward, hips are locked, knees are locked. On the eccentric, she's going to control the weight down, making sure to avoid her kneecaps and place the bar back on the floor. And that is the barbell conventional deadlift. And then finally, our hardest variation will be the deficit conventional deadlift. This is the barbell conventional deficit deadlift. So we're gonna have the client starting at an elevation, making sure that the elevation is not so high that they end up crushing their toes with the bar on the descent. So we're gonna to have toes facing straight forward or slightly angled out, whichever is more comfortable. They're going to reach down and grab the bar. Width is slightly wider than shoulder width, keeping the back as flat as possible. They may have to reach their hips back a little farther to get down to the bar. We're going to instruct them to drive through their heels, shifting their weight back as they ascend, coming to a nice erect position with their shoulders, hips, and knees locked, bringing it back down nice and slow to making sure to avoid the kneecaps and starting in the same position that they were in and that is the deficit barbell deadlift. And then a different variation of a deadlift will be the sumo deadlift with a wider stance. This is the barbell sumo deadlift, so a variation of the deadlift. We're going to place her feet at a comfortable width stance, so anywhere outside of shoulder width. For her, her uh, ankles come to about the rings. We're going to instruct her to reach down and grab the bar. While we're in this position, we want them to have a nice flat back. So we're going to extend the hips, sink in, good. We want, and with the sumo deadlift, we wanna make sure that the flat inside part of the shin is making contact with the bar and not the front of the shin. So toes are going to need to be angled out. Her shins are going to be vertical from both the front and from the side view. To start the lift, she's gonna to wanna to pull down on her scapula and sit her weight back as she applies force to the floor coming to a nice erect position at the top with shoulders, eyes, and hips all locked straight forward. And coming back down to the floor, we're gonna make sure we control the weight straight down and making sure to avoid the kneecaps. And that is the barbell sumo deadlift.